what happens after a while these switches right here they start getting loose and uh, they don't click right so then uh, sometimes you get flickering of the lights and stuff like that and a lot of times it's when this uh, switch here starts getting loose and worn out and also what happens is that uh, the back side of this uh, switch where it hooks up on the inside uh, it has a uh, plastic and after a while the heat from the electricity starts melting that plastic and uh, little by little it starts uh, deteriorating all the insides of the switch here uh, the way to change this is uh, by going back in here and there's two tabs right there and uh, you get a screwdriver and you take those you press on those tabs and this whole light switch here comes right off so we're gonna press on the tabs here and uh, take the switch light switch out here's the tabs you just get a thin screwdriver a flathead and you just put it right in there you click on that top tab and then the bottom tab And then uh, this whole part over here is loose. So then you you pull right. Once these two tabs come out, you pull left, and the whole switch comes right out. After that, we go in and take this uh, clip off right here. So it looks like the easiest way so that you don't break this clip here. The easiest way is to put your flathead screwdriver down here and you pop it up and with your thumb you push this uh, clip that way with your thumb. That's probably the easiest way to not crack this clip here because once you do then it's not gonna it's not gonna hold a tight fit there and that takes it off of this little plastic part there and then the light uh, switch comes right off there what happens after a while the heat starts melting away this little clip here so then it doesn't let um, any contact between the metal inside here and um, the metal right here so because of the melted plastic in here you're not getting good contact between these two metals that uh, let the lights go on so that's what happens with these cars is this part right here gets messed up so then you have to buy another one of these online and then uh, take the old one off and then rewire it this is a newer one that I got because the old one was it was all melted away here and that happens throughout time that's just the way that these cars are made with this type of clip so when you notice that uh, what I noticed on my car is I started smelling like a little bit of burnt plastic and it was coming from in here I didn't know where it was coming from originally but after a while I figured it out so I got this clip um, from the junkyard from a, another Mustang same type um, and that clip was good so all I did is rewired the back of it uh, I took the old wires out and then I put them exactly to the same coloring that the old clip had so this one as you can see it's uh, in good condition there's no dark spots where it might have been burning or melting so I got that um, that's really what goes wrong with uh, this part of the lighting on the car after a while this goes bad uh, not necessarily this um, light switch uh, what happens more with this light switch is that these buttons start getting loose. That's what really goes bad on this after a while. 
So those are two things that go wrong with the, with the light switch here. So this is the new light switch that I bought. I got this online. You can get it anywhere where they sell Mustang parts. Uh, I bought it brand new. I didn't want to get a used one, have it uh, be faulty. So you just kind of you just put it right back, the same way the old one was. Put it in here, and then you push. You hold the back of the plastic here. You push on the light switch until it clicks. like that and once you put the light switch on the clip then you just push it right back in just guide it in now right here when you put it in you gotta put in the right side first so you do it the opposite way that you took it out so the right side goes in first and then the left side and it pops straight in once you hear a click, you know it's all good to go. This is the one that belongs on this car. It's for the GTs that have the fog lights. Because you're able to press this button, the fog light switch down. On the old one that I had, I got it in the junkyard. And it came off of a Mustang LX. The LX don't have fog lights. So this old switch, as you can see here, between the two, the top button has this light picture up here like the other one like the new one that I put in but the bottom one doesn't have the picture of the fog light like this new one here so if you do end up um, trying to get these from if you try to get these from the junkyard be sure that um, this switch uh, pushes down if you have fog lights because this switch doesn't push down. It's like permanently stuck. Because it wasn't made uh, for the GTs. This came off of an LX. And I didn't know that the first time that I got it. Years back. But. Um, so I wasn't able to turn on the fog lights. But this new one. I made sure that it had. Uh, the fog light picture there. And a uh, sticker. And also that. It describes online that it is made for a GT. So that I didn't know. I got this one real cheap. But I wasn't able to turn on the fog lights. But there's a new one installed already. And uh, the clip on the inside uh, is not uh, is recent. So it's not too old. As I showed you, it doesn't have it's any dark spots where it's been burning or anything like that. Um, but if you do notice any kind of... Uh, like plastic smell check uh, your uh, light switch inside take your lights off and check it because uh, you know you don't want it to start first of all your lights aren't going to be working that well you're going to start noticing it flicker and number two is you don't want any kind of fire or anything in your car so you want to do that and that's it that's how you install this light switch